A community is in shock tonight after a firefighter and part-time construction worker died days before his wedding. Chris Lord was working on an apartment building in Madison, this one, when he fell 60 feet. He was a carpenter from McGann Construction for three years, but spent nearly a decade building a career as a firefighter, including in his hometown of Lodi. As Matthew Simon found, the department there is hoping to find solace in numbers. At this point, we just kind of package it away and put the black ribbon on there. The black ribbon holding on to the pieces of Lodi firefighter Chris Lord's uniform. It can't be real. His how for now. Chief Bobby Annan says his 25 volunteers are holding on to the 25-year-old. I don't feel like that this, this is real. You know, it's going to take a while to process the fact that every time the alarm goes, we're not going to see Chris anymore. Those who loved him say Chris Lord stood out. He was the tallest firefighter. He was the all-around great guy who loved being a firefighter so much he wore Lodi's logo even when he was not working. That's how proud he was to be here. And he was always keeping everyone laughing, even as he recently completed rope training. Sense of humor always made you laugh. But when times were serious, Lord's friends say so was he. Now that really good buddy they could always count on is suddenly gone. Just a pit that kind of sits in your stomach, a little emptiness. And what makes this loss even more devastating is instead of preparing to attend Lord's wedding. That's so sad that, you know, that had to happen and he was really looking forward to it. The Lodi Fire Department is now preparing to support Chris Lord's family through his funeral. Not only did I lose a firefighter, and a brother on the fire department, but I feel like I lost a family member. I don't even want to move his stuff from his locker at this point. I just, you know, I just want to leave everything as is. Very tough story there. Matthew Simon joins us now. A very hard time for the community and the family. I mean, you can just yeah. feel it when yeah. you hear him talk. It's so sad to hear about this. Lodi has about 3,000 people. Most of them know each other and quickly learned about Chris Lord's death. The chief had known Chris since, Michelle, he was eight years old. Oh, my gosh. Um, I know this is also pretty uncharted territory for the fire department as well. Right. Three decades, the chief says he doesn't know about anybody on active duty dying. Very difficult for them, at least 30 years since that's happened. They plan on having a full funeral procession and naming a scholarship to inspire those who want to be future firefighters after Chris. Oh, my gosh. Well, I, I certainly think that... It's safe to say this is one of the saddest stories that we've reported in a very long time. And I know a lot of people are talking about it on social media and our hearts go out to all those who knew him. Because there's that added element, he was going to get married. And so yeah. as sad as it is, it just that really hits folks. Yeah. Oh, okay, Matthew, thank you for that report. We do want to tell you that Chris's visitation will be this Thursday from 3 to 7 at the Gunderson Funeral Home. That's also in Lodi. A second visitation will be held the next morning at 10 at the First Lutheran Church in Lodi with a funeral service to follow right after.